what's up what's good what's going on family so i wanted to jump in it's i am recording this on the 4th of july so happy independence day for those of you all that recognize this as that um let's jump in i want to see like just what energy might you be facing i know a lot of people get with family friends and loved ones on this day and I just want to offer you just a little bit of guidance that may help you get through this day. So guys, this is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as that ninth house. Very particular messages here on the Manjula Awakening for your ninth house. But even with that being said, um, just take what resonates and bless the rest with someone else. It looks like today what you go it's gonna be a good good day. It's gonna be a good good day. Happiness, joy, playfulness, enjoying in each other's honeymoon period. Ooh, ace of swords at the bottom of the uh deck, sword and roses, truth and clarity. I do feel like that there is some sort of look, it says rising from the ashes, a new phase. Uh, it's it's gonna be a good good day. That's all I'm gonna say. Hold on. Hmm. Okay. What's going on here? Uh, try not to be overindulgent in your temptations today. Okay. Um. I feel like you're going to be enjoying the company of others. But I do feel like that there's this energy of like feeling lost and not knowing how to fit in. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's like, it's a good vibe. But because of things that you're experiencing in life. Um, you could have feel lost. Like you could feel like you're not fitting in here. Also feels like that there's going to be a lot of different places that you're going to want to try to get to. Like there's a lot of options here. Um, if, if I'm being honest, if you do have multiple invites. I don't know why this is coming through. If you do have multiple invites and you have multiple places to go see people and all that good stuff, go the unconventional route and do it. Don't just, I, I feel like that I'm speaking to someone that typically goes to one location and gets to fill in the vibe and you kind of just stay there and miss the other settings. Um, Spirit is saying, try the unconventional route. Stay here a little while and then go to the next one. You know what I'm saying? Don't overcommit. Like, don't overstay your welcome. But it's like once things is chilled out and, you know, the vibe is kind of lowered, it's okay to move forward, okay? And go to the next one. Um, somebody here is undertone experiencing a breakup. Undertone is experiencing a breakup and it's kind of making this day dull for you. Get it out there. Like, get out there. Go experience happiness, okay? Don't allow this grieving, disparage, disparage energy to keep you in the house and away from the good time. Because I do feel like that um, if you get out there, I do feel like that you'll receive what it is that you're seeking, okay? You know, I'm really not an advocate of this, but it just came through. And honey, my spirit team knows um, some of y'all, to be honest with you, is going to be out here today having a good old time. Yes, you are experiencing some sort of breakup. There is some sort of sadness going on internally. Be careful because I definitely see some sort of one night stand that could possibly take off. Like you could run into somebody like they vibing. 
things just escalate pretty quickly. Um, but definitely be mindful of um, codependencies, okay? Be mindful of getting too carried away in your temptations. Let's see. How is this showing up? Like, how is this? What's the main situation showing up for Sag today? Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> the Hermit Contemplation. But this is about getting out there. Okay. Get out there. King, ooh, King of Wands. Okay. Big Daddy. I do feel like that you're contemplating like some I'm speaking to somebody that is kind of like intends on staying in the crib today staying in the house today not really maybe you intend on not intermingling you got a lot of invitations but you just really not feeling it because you experiencing a breakup there is some sort of this like grieving despair sadness that is cropping up here today for Sagittarius so there's this contemplation here what is it what is the hermit about Ooh, you desire oh my goodness baby this is okay mm -hmm. we got the king of wands to uh to the chariot to the will of fortune to the queen of wands baby somebody is moving forward to their destined counterpart here um I want to encourage you to go out there and have fun. I feel like that you have the potential to intermingle with somebody that's dope. You hear me? That's dope. And it's destined and fated for you to run into this person. Could be a Virgo. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Leo. Alright, show me what's up with this con the, the uh, Hermit energy. What's going on with the contemplation spirit? The Six of Cups. Um, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I feel like that I'm speaking to someone that is consumed with the past situation, thinking about a past situation, kind of broken hearted about a past situation. Um, and I feel like that you're going to it looks like somebody is getting ready to play family today. It looks like somebody might be contemplating, um, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, if it's a holiday and you have children with somebody, you may be in their vicinity today and you may contemplate getting the family back together, if I'm being honest. Um, I feel like that if that's your storyline, the remedy here is to make sure that you take up the other offers. I don't feel like that you just had one offer to hang out with one person today. If that is your situation, I do feel like that you're being advised to take up, like make sure that you take heed to the other invitation so that you're not just absolutely consumed with the thought of the should have, would have, could have. Okay. For others of you all, I feel like that this is given past life soulmate. Like there's this soul recognition here with someone that you're running into today. But it's almost like you overlook it because maybe they remind you of someone from the past. Or um, the past is still in the forefront here, okay? One more for the hermit in the six of cups, please. Thank you fertility yeah <laughs> that's the empress energy um for the nine of wands my goodness yeah this is definitely giving me that somebody here this is 
putting on a united front for the holidays for the children here. And I ain't gonna lie, it looked like some some uh some good old fashioned memories are made, okay? Um No judgment here. No judgment here. Yeah, wow, definitely. Um, there is def I feel like why is this message coming up? I feel like that someone is painting some sort of an illusion. Yeah, to win something at all costs. Three of Pentacles. Someone is there's there's definitely some sort of fantasy of a reconciliation that is taking place and I I'm not gonna lie, I feel like that it's the atmosphere. I do feel like that it's the atmosphere, especially with keys on a ring here. How is Sag showing up really quick? Let's see, where is Sag? Let me use a different deck. Three of Cups. <laughs> Let me use a different deck to see how my lovely Sagittarian Ninth House Collective is showing up. We got a lot of vibrations throughout this reading. Yeah, I see that was a renewal. It says your subscription renewal. It's for my Google One was taken out of my account. So there's that was taken out of my account. There's a renewal that's taking place. It takes something out. Spirit, show me how Sagittarius is showing up before we keep moving forward. Can you show me Sagittarius here? The Three of Wands. <laughs> the Magician at the bottom of the deck. Are you manifesting this to come in? The Nine of uh, Cups behind that. You're manifesting your wish fulfillment here. You're showing up as the arrival. The Three of Wands is like, manif like manifestations arriving. You're showing up as the arrival um you're having a good 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 time i'm telling you today's gonna be a good good day for you three of wands hanging out with the homies with the magician manifesting in your wish fulfillment with the nine of cups behind that i feel like that your understanding of temperance patience here sad you're in a good energetic space here So, this could be somebody in your energy, not necessarily you, Sag. So, who you, who's in your energy could be rekindling the family today. Or at least being tempted to rekindle the family today. Or if this is you, Sag, and that's what you're manifesting, just take it as it resonates. I will say that the Three of Cups was at the bottom of the deck when I was like, where's Sag at? And I was like, well, let me get a different deck. I stopped on the Three of Cups. Baby, you having a good, good day. You having a day hanging out with good energy. I will say that. The Nine of Swords. Um, I definitely feel like that this is someone in your energy. And like, you may be wondering why you're not hanging out with them. Why you're not really seeing them today. You know, it might be slow motion between you and this person today. Show me the blind spot between the Hermit and the Six of Cups, please. The Four of Cups, yeah. Um, mind you, I want you to know, like, the Four and the Six of I'm looking for the blind spot for the Hermit and the Six of Cups. We got the Four of Cups. So, somebody, does, like, this is definitely, I feel like that somebody here is contemplating like someone is reminiscing and trying to puzzle piece back together their ten of cups on this day and this particular deck when it speaks about the four of cups it's really saying like 
not really knowing which direction to go. As you see in this one, the two, the four of cups is split up by two cups and two cups. So I definitely feel like that the blind spot between the six of cups here is someone that's contemplating a new partnership and then someone that they have a family with. I'm not going to lie. Whoever's on the backs, like, I wish y'all could see it. Let me see if I can get y'all to see it the way I'm seeing it. You see how the Hermit, this is the first card, has the back turned to the Six of Cups and the Empress. This is the wife or the, the person that they have children with. Their back is turned to that. But it's not something that other than like, I would assume that leading up to this holiday, they back was turned to this. But there's something about this holiday or whatever the case may be, whenever you're finding this message, because it is timeless, that they're contemplating bring like they contemplate in having this thing with the with the with the mother of their children again or the father of their children again, okay? It is there. But I also feel like with the four cups being the blind spot here, there's another partnership that is in front of them too, two of cups. That it's like this person is, so I feel like that you intend on hanging out with this person today. And, you know, this person may be at multiple different settings. You may have been invited to multiple different settings today. This person may have been, you may have expected to hang out with this person. And you not really understanding why it's not linking. Well, there is some things going on. And, and if I'm being honest with you. You want to let this motherfucker figure it out because by you trying to figure it out for him is going to dampen what it is that you got going on. Damn, I can't make this shit up. The Egg of Cups. It's almost like somebody is trying to be on every set today. Somebody is trying to be on every set. Like somebody's like sees an opportunity to possibly bring their family back together. So they don't want to miss that opportunity. But they also see that there's a new opportunity ahead of them. And it looks promising. It's harmonious. It's nice. And so they trying to be on every set is what it's looking like. What's the blind spot between the Six of Cups and the Empress? And also, somebody could be on her contemplating starting something with you. Meanwhile, they, they it's like, but when they contemplate starting something serious with you, they think about that family dynamic that they had elsewhere. And it's almost like, well, shit, should I just start new or should I go try to repair? It's something like that here going on. You hear me? What's the blind spot between the Six of Cups? But I'm telling you, thank you, Spirit. Look at this. See, the empress is established, baby. They got some children, animals, pets, children running around between them and that relationship. They could share pets and children, honey. That's a lot going on right there. A lot going on right there. And you see in this particular six of cups, there's the four of cups right here. And then there's the two of cups in front of them. Baby, there is a like... Mm, It's really gathered up in the three of cups and then one cup and then two cups. So that's saying that, you know, there is celebratory energy um, from a love offer. But this is harmonious. Somebody is definitely stuck. Like somebody is definitely trying to debate whether to reconcile and repair something or go towards something that is new and promising. That's, somebody's definitely cons oh damn the king of wands possibly but were you seen the eight of cups was at the bottom someone is definitely contemplating walking away from something but what's the blind spot between the six of cups and the empress here spirit wow the queen of wands jealousy bitterness um this is definitely another woman here Page of, wow, I told you, Page of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Uh, the blind spot between the person that they have children with is there is some bitterness and jealousy there. Um, I don't know. Um, something about the offer being too small. Like somebody feels like that they deserve, after everything that they've been through with this person, 
they deserve more than what this person is offering them and i feel like that that ultimately is the thing that's going to bring that situation to an end um because um somebody may be cheating over there honey well shit what the fuck have we dove into on this boy it sound like a family fucking function right <laughs> Y'all don't forget to smash that thumbs up button um, if this is your story or if you're just enjoying the, the, the video. Um, Page of Pentacles to the Five of Wands. It's like someone's trying to make some sort of peace offering to quiet the conflict, but there is still some jealousy and bitterness that makes someone very cold and detached. And that is like that's the energy that is needed to transform, but because it's not undergoing a transformation, it's bringing this situation to an ending because someone is like possibly cheating, juggling, like someone's trying to do too much. What's the advice for Sagittarius as it pertains to this storyline? What is the advice? For Sagittarius as it pertains to this. The Eight of Swords. Such set yourself free. Don't overthink this. Don't overthink it. Allow like this is something that is playing out on like it's unfolding as it's supposed to. So release yourself from that self-imposed imprisonment. Don't overthink this at all. Peace be still. Zeus is <laughs> Zeus. Get out the house, boo. Get out the house. Have fun. Have fun. Don't sit here and be sad and depressed today. Get out the house. That's why I'm gonna say, get out the house. Peace be still. Uh, set yourself free from uh, the thoughts that keep you from moving forward. Things. I'm telling you, I cannot make this up. This is unfolding as it's supposed to. And temperance is right behind that. And this particular temperance is labeled balance. This is this is balancing out. It is. Show me more on the Eight of Swords for the advice for Sagittarius. ADA could be significant. Eight of Wands. At once. I'm telling you, baby, enjoy the journey. Enjoy enjoy the way this is unfolding. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Don't make it too heavy. If somebody decides that they want to rekindle the family today, or they end up spending time with their family today, okay, cool. Enjoy the journey. Allow people to make their decisions and act accordingly. Don't become bitter. Don't become mad. Don't become happy. Don't become sad. None of that. Become in, remain indifferent. Allow people to show you what their choice is and remain indifferent to that, but act accordingly. 2323 was just up there. Um, baby, call my spirit team. Pet he for this win. Earth pigeons on this eight of wands. Baby, this one might just be one of many pigeons. You hear me? That's why Spirit is telling you, like, you have multiple invites, not just this one. Don't just focus on this one because this person may get caught up in a family dynamic. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. For some reason, Spirit is letting us see that it is not all rainbows and unicorns in that situation over there. And typically, Spirit don't even let me meddle. I don't even desire to meddle in what these other folk got going on in their third party situation. Ain't none of my motherfucking business. But spirit is letting us in on this for some reason because I feel like that you're going to, you have the tendency to allow this to, to change the direction of your actions, the mood. It depresses you. It makes you look at yourself in a different light. Spirit is saying, baby, set yourself free from that shit. Have fun today. Go out there. Hang out with your friends. Hang out with your family. Go have fun today. Okay. Where is this all headed for Sagittarius? Where is this situation here headed for Sag? Is 
Okay, you guys. You want me to tell you why spirit is letting us meddle? Because it's not worth getting yours. It's not worth ruining the trajectory of where you're headed with this person. Where is this situation headed for Sagittarius? A love offer. An ace of cups. Ten of pentacles that will go the distance. It is going to open doors. My God, hell yeah, it is. It's going to go the distance. Just, just go have fun. Just go to do you. Hang out with your girls. Go hang out with your guys. Just do you. Don't allow there's so what this is telling me is things might be going pretty good, pretty good. You might be expecting to hang out with somebody and you don't get to today. Um, or it may be, you know, past family time or something like that. Don't I'm gonna say don't take it personal. I'm gonna say don't take it personal. Show me what the ace of cups looks like. This could have to do with a Virgo, a Libra, and a Taurus. Doesn't necessarily have to. We also have Aries and Pisces on the board, but I feel like that that has a lot to do with that third party situation. What's the Ace, what's the Ace of Cups looking like? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Transformation. Ooh, it just started raining. I really want to encourage you. Not Y'all might end up, honey, on the makeup sex. Y'all might end up making a baby, a little girl. Because you, they're going to feel like they hurt your feelings. Yeah, they're going to feel like that they hurt your feelings. Because you're going to make them feel like that you felt unseen today. And so they're going to put it down so that you're going to fall in love. Make you want to marry them. Because, baby, ultimately what you're doing is you're manifesting. Remember, the magician is at the bottom of the deck. You're manifesting in something through the emotions that you're feeling. You may end up pregnant by this person. And I would be mindful. Like, I, I really would be mindful because... It's only going to, like, I feel like that if you do so, that it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Baby, thanks, Trent. Like, baby, this here, y'all's relationship definitely takes a major, a major a major change after this holiday or whenever it is that you're seeing this and whatever it is that this like because I will say that I do feel like that this person kind of makes you feel left out okay and whatever that feeling is it absolutely changes the tra trajectory of this relationship in a beautiful way you got the six of wands and the will of fortune to come out um, there's a major transformation um, but I feel like that there may be a, a break, like there may be a season where y'all don't see eye to eye. So I'm I'm going to say that I feel like that I'm I'm so at some point in time I am sensing a brief separation. It may just be the argument and disagreement today, but it does end up in a very much so. Um, Throw that ass in a circle. And I feel like that's something. Be careful. You don't want to go creating nothing out here. You don't want to go creating nothing out here. But I am brief, I am sensing a brief separation. Okay. I am. I am. I am. I am. I'm, I'm, I don't. What, what can you tell me about this brief separation that I'm smelling here in this situation? Oh baby, that's what that's where the baby come from. Mm-hmm. Seven of Wands. Um I just feel like that I, 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 even with this reading, I don't feel like that you're going to catch this reading in time enough not to have a conflict with this person as feeling like that they're juggling you and stringing you, stringing you along. 
that's the that's the situ that's the, that's the separation is that there is going to be some sort of debacle some sort of conflict as it pertains to feeling like this person is juggling you but um Baby, this person gets to planning. Mm -hmm. This person gets to... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just seen the emperor. This person gets to planning. I'm telling you, I feel like that if this is your story, uh, yeah, there's going to be a disagreement. But this goes to something solid. Pisces. Virgo. Sagittarius. Libra. Virgo and Libra is confirmed here. Like early in the game. And I feel like that the person that's doing this is a Libra, a Scorpio, a Virgo, or a Sagittarius. Close this out. Close this out for my lovely Sagittarian. Oh. Perfect moves. Yes. Keep the spirit of play and fun alive to be closer. I'm telling you, you don't want to. I, I just don't think it is what you think it is. Okay. I just don't think it is what you think it is. Graceful dance. Yes. Winding roads. Oh, my goodness. Um, lift each other up during both high and low times. Power balance, have mutual respect and shared responsibilities. See, that's the thing. This person is seeking somebody's understanding. This person is seeking understanding. This person does not want this to turn heavy. Okay. Yeah. Being able to share your feelings openly. I do feel like that you can communicate with this person. You just need a, a the communication needs to be non-confrontational. Okay. But I feel like that the Sagittarius I'm speaking with is getting ready to approach this conversation very confrontational. And because of that, I feel like that there's going to be a brief separation. I feel like that after that brief separation, this person is like, because they do go into planning state. They are going to, um, makeup sex is going to be nice and very productive. So just be mindful, Okay. So that's what I got for you on this beautiful 4th of July. Guys, I hope that they was able to offer you some guidance. If you feel like this is your story, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. Peace, love, and light. Oh, and don't forget, I'm going to do the major announcement and ad release on the 5th. But Elevate 444 is out and it's for 15% off of the personal readings. See you guys later.